this video we are going to show you how to replace the uh, this is called a combination switch on the Mitsubishi Mirage now a combination switch includes the turn signal wipers over here um, this you know high low beam uh, switching so the procedure um, to remove this is to start by um, parking vehicle and setting the wheel straight uh, then you open the hood and then disconnect the uh, negative terminal then you would uh, wait two minutes just to discharge any residual uh, current that might be in the uh, system and then you would come inside and you will remove the airbag and the steering wheel and we have another tutorial on how to do that uh, once you remove the airbag and the steering wheel the next step would uh, would be to remove this uh, clock spring here and this, uh, you'll see that you have this trim that covers that but um, so this plastic trim has to be um, it has a screw right down here a Phillips screw so it goes right straight up so you remove that with a flat half screwdriver uh, this so it'll be right on the bottom here and then you can separate these two like so you put this top piece away then right here we have the clock spring. We're gonna tape the uh, put a little tape right here on the clock spring so this doesn't move around, doesn't go uh, all around and come back up here because that would not be good. So that doesn't happen. So um, then to remove the clock spring, it has clips there, there, and two on the bottom. So you just pry this off with a flat head screwdriver there, and then you pry off these uh, bottom clips right here. You have one on the other side. Then you have these electrical connectors, you have one there, one there, and this is the airbag uh, connections. These airbag connections, it's a little bit more tricky to remove. First you have to lift up this green piece, then you have to press on the connector there and then pull. These white ones, you simply just press them and pull them off. Um, so that clock spring comes off, and then right here we have the connection here for um, the combination switch. You just simply press that right there press that and pull it off so I'm just pressing right here and then pulling this off now and the last thing here is to remove this right here there's a, a, a clip that you can use pliers and I'll show you in just a minute once I remove it so you press that squeeze the pliers and then you remove this pull this use yourself all right so you squeeze this with your pliers, that's what I was doing, and then while I'm holding that squeeze, I'm pulling this towards me. So that's it, uh, pretty simple, straightforward. Um, you don't, you don't want to turn on the ignition or connect the battery while you're doing this because you'll trigger the airbag light. Um, so make sure you don't do that, put everything to back, back together, reconnect everything. This to put, uh, take the new combination switch is that like so and push that in okay now uh, you go ahead and reassemble everything so we're gonna go ahead and connect the electrical wire here we're gonna take the clock spring and put that back on you heard that click in there now we have all these connectors here. You want to push them in until you hear them click. Then on this one, you press this green piece in. Reconnect all these connectors. So here we have connected all the wires here, we've clipped this in place. The next thing is to put the top cover, you line that up with the bottom one, and you press these two together, make sure you have over here you have the keyhole um, lined up properly. And now we come here and just lock these together in place, make sure you do the same on the sides and on that side. Once you do that, that right here, the bottom trim, this one has a screw that goes right in the 
center there, so we're gonna put that in. That's it, Philip. Alright, so now we take the steering wheel, we line up these wires and we fish them through there, through the steering wheel. Remember the position of the clock spring is very important, should not move much. It's better if we have a little bit of tape here that holds that, prevents that from rotating. This is where you would remove that tape now, we don't need that anymore. And then right here, when we remove the steering wheel, we made some marks on this. So now we can look at these marks and push that in exactly where it needs to be. If you don't have those marks, what is going to happen is that um, your steering wheel is going to be off at an angle. Um, so make sure you do that. And then we have this nut here, the foam nut. We need to tighten this. This needs to be uh, torqued to spec. Now you want to counter hold this as you tighten that and torque it. Um, So the next thing is we connect this wire right here, push that in, and then we're gonna connect the airbag and press the airbag, push it in, and that's all there is for the airbag, it just locks in place. Uh, the airbag uh, wires, it goes black on the black of the back of the airbag, right here, black on black. Once you push this in, then you press the center piece on to lock it. You do the same thing with the uh, orange over here. You press the connector in, you hear that click, then you push the center piece in. And then you take the airbag and you just push this all in and press it in, like you would push the horn. Once you do that, you can go ahead and reconnect the battery and that should be it. Thank you for watching.